Hi guys, I'm Nyx and I am back with another video. Today we are playing some modded Stardew Valley. I've been wanting to try mods in Stardew for a very long time now. And the one that intrigued me the most was the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. So that's the one that we're going to uh, try out here today. With that being said, let's get into the video. So you might be able to tell uh, just from this small area here, but the path over to the right has changed. Usually it would be like straight this way, I believe. But if we go up here, it gives us multiple ways to get back to the farm from what from uh, Pelican Town. So we can go down and come, uh, come from the way that I just came to get back to your farm by like the little storage box or the the like sale box. I don't know what you want to call it, but maybe the the deposit box. That's a better word for it. Uh, where you can like sell your stuff. So if you're trying to sell things quickly, going this way is the best way, but then you can also go this way, which is like, it, I guess it just depends on which way you want to get to your farm. But I like that it gave you two different options because I think that it's very helpful, especially later on in the game when you have more stuff on your farm and might want to get to a specific area to like, sell your stuff or go tend to your animals or something it makes it a bit easier however i think one of my favorite parts about this mod that i've found so far i've not gotten very far with it i just played around to make sure that the mod was actually working so i just restarted this um character on a new farm i only got a couple of days in last time one of my favorite things is that they added, this mod adds Dusty the dog. So usually it just, there's a thing here that just says dog and it's like all run down and everything. But here, Dusty's there, he has food and water and a little ball and like his own nice little area and you can even give him pets every day. And I love that so much. It brings me so much life. I love it. I can't even begin to, like, obviously, vanilla Stardew, base Stardew is amazing as it is, but this mod adds so much to it that makes the game feel very refreshing, and I feel like there's, it adds so much that there would never be, like, you never run out of stuff to do. So as you can see, um, looking at that little area, we have a vineyard down here. I believe it's this way. This is a whole new area with this mod that was introduced called Blue Moon Vineyard. And then we can talk to this new character as well, Sophia. She's very cute. I like her a lot. She might be the person that I try to marry this playthrough. I'm not sure. Uh, but the mod also added a bunch of new marriage candidates as well as characters. It's very cool. I love it a lot so far. I did not mean to do that, Elliot. I'm sorry. I'll show you guys what the other entrance to the farm looks like. So we can go this way to get back onto the farm, but there's a lot of stuff in the way. However, uh, the Grandpa's Farm mod that I downloaded that is recommended to be played with this has a bunch of expanded areas to the traditional farm layout, like these stairs here, and a lot more space on your farm to add things which I'm really excited to try out and see what I can do with it. I've never really like focused 
a lot on decorating when I've played Stardew before. But I'm... I think this mod is going to change that for me. Since I have so much more space to work with, it might feel a bit overwhelming, but I think it'll be fun. Oh, and we're very low on energy, so we're actually going to stop clearing out the farm here for the day. The only thing that we might do is clear some of these um, little weeds on the way. Just because using the scythe doesn't consume any energy, so it's safe to use that tool. We don't have to worry about passing out. I know that I need these for the community center, but I really need the gold right now, so we're going to sell them because they're super common. I can find more later. And then water that quick, and then we'll probably go to bed and end the day here. I don't have quite enough wood to make a chest yet, otherwise I would make a chest to put my stuff in, but that will be the objective for tomorrow, I think. And it looks like we have some mail. Sweet. So uh, Willie is giving us a fishing pole. So we'll go to the beach and grab that from him. So that we can start making more money. Because fishing will really help us get to that 2000 that we need to get that backpack a lot quicker. Hopefully there's not too many forageables on the beach. I do want that though. We'll have to come back here when I get more um, pocket space. But we gotta make a chest first, because... I will not have room in my pockets for all of this stuff otherwise. Hello Shane, and nice seeing you. This is one of the new people. His name is Martin. I believe he works at uh, Joja. I kind of want to keep the conch, so I think we're just going to focus on getting wood for now. that stuff in here and we can probably put whatever tools we're not planning to use away I don't think we'll need that we sh uh, we'll keep the hoe just in case I'm not gonna use the axe or the pickaxe for now I mainly just want to fish and go to the beach and get those forageables so I think that's what we're gonna focus on Nice, we got a decent amount of forageables for the today, and then we'll catch some fish. Possibly sell them to Willy, depending on how many we catch before his shop closes. Come on. Come on. I hate when the fishing bar is really small because it makes it so hard to catch the fish. However, it does feel a little bit easier to be clicking than having to press a button repeatedly and accidentally pressing the wrong one like I do on the Switch sometimes.
I hate when they do this. It's really freaking annoying. God, these fish are giving me so much trouble right now. Come on. No, I almost had you. Come on. Thank you. Alright, that's going to be enough fishing for now so I don't rage. So if we go up here, there's actually a new house that was added as well that we can visit. And this is Olivia and Victor's house, I believe his name is. It's, like, absolutely massive. They have, like, a cellar down here. Then they have, like, more rooms up here. That didn't even look like a bedroom. I thought that was a living room. There's this whole area down here with like a TV. Super cool. This is definitely the coolest house in the game. I also think Olivia is marriageable? I'm not sure. I'd have to check again. Yeah. So you can marry her. And I'm pretty sure you can marry her son as well, who is Victor, I believe. And something I think is super cute is there's been farms added literally all over Pelican Town. So there's this like little um, community garden here. And then pretty much all of the houses for all of the residents have their own little farms as well. Which is a very cute touch in my opinion. So like they have this little farm behind their house here. Marnie has one by her farm. There's one behind the buildings here. There's also this. Residents here in Pelican Town use these kegs and barrels to turn their produce into wine and jelly. Pretty cool. We made 470 gold. That's not terrible, but it's definitely not a lot either. Alright, I think the goal for today will be to try to talk to as many people as we can. So we've talked to a couple. We still need to talk to 17 people. Uh, we'll grab some of our tools just in case. Sweet geode. Love to see that. I'm kind of salty that we didn't get that on like the first day, but I guess I guess it's okay. At least we have enough money to process it now. Uh, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to... Is it farther than I thought it was? It, yeah, it must be. I thought Marnie's uh, ranch was a lot closer. But apparently the mod extended the path to get there. Which is fine. But yeah, she has um, a little farm in front of her ranch now. There's another little farm area over here. I 
And then I'm pretty sure, yes, Aaliyah has a tiny farm in front of her house, but she also has sculptures and stuff outside her house, which I really like. Makes a lot of sense for her. Then we'll come down this way. Uh, which way is which? So we'll go left because we haven't been there yet. And we'll meet a new character over there as well. I think we can just go in. Yes, but I don't know if he's... He is home. Perfect. I like that there's so many different, like, farms around instead of just the one farmer in town. I think it makes more sense that way. But, I mean... Not that there's anything wrong with the way that the game is normally, but I just love how much this mod adds on to it as well. Let's go look inside here. This house is really cute. Also very large. Oh, we can get to the beach this way? Cool. Oh yeah, so there's an extended path, path to the beach. Usually this part is blocked off. So now you can get to the beach from two different directions instead of just the one. Which is pretty cool. And let's see what's inside. Sweet earth crystal. We're going to do uh, donate it to Gunther though. Instead of keeping it, because the rewards will be nice. The museum has also gotten a bit of a makeover. So you can see there's like an extra section down here. And I think over here as well, I don't think either of these spots were added before because I do not remember all of this stuff being back here. That must mean that there is even more items or like mysterious like gems and things that we can donate to the museum as well. Which is pretty cool. I'm very excited about that. This mod just makes me so excited to play Stardew. Like, it adds so many cool things. And I already love playing Stardew, but this, like, makes me way more excited and want makes me want to play it, like, all the time. And I might, after I play with this um, mod a bit, I might... Um, try to download some like aesthetic ones as well but I was kind of afraid of running that many mods at once plus I kind of just wanted to experience this mod for what it was before I added a bunch of like aesthetic things to it this house looks different than I remember I feel like they revamped a lot of the interiors and things Sebastian's room looks about the same, though. Is he coming out? Or is he going to stay in here? No, apparently he was just walking. Or, oh, yeah, he comes out right as I leave. Rude, Sebastian. Yeah, I was waiting to talk to you so I can actually, like, meet people and stuff. I'm also intrigued as to what will be up here, because it's blocked off right now. I I don't remember if it's blocked off early in the game or not. I feel like it probably is. But either way, I'm excited to see what's added to that area. Seeing all of the things that have been changed is just so much fun. It's 
sweet. We're getting a bunch of mixed seeds. I love that. And we can plant those right away. Perfect. Sweet, and we got, we leveled up our foraging skill, which increased our axe proficiency. And now trees sometimes drop seeds, so that's pretty cool. We also have a crafting recipe for wild seeds for spring and field snack. Field snack will definitely be very helpful. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I very much appreciate it. I should be back with more Stardew content in the very near future because I want to play through a lot more of this mod. Sorry we didn't get to see very much of it today, but future videos will cover more of it as I play through a bit more. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!